Hello there, welcome to spring 2017 semester in Management 3319, uh, Management Theory and Practice. So I'd like to welcome you to the online course and just get to know you here briefly and let you know a few things about myself and the expectations I have for the course. I have put a syllabus online and you are welcome to look at that and find my office hours there. It's really the best way to get a hold of me would be through email and I try to get back to you within 24 hours. I will say there's times I check my email in the target checkout line and forget to respond. So please give me a kind nudge that you need something um, responded to or a question answered. Again, if you don't hear back from me within that 24 hour period. I do answer the phone obviously when I'm on campus and in my office, but there are times that I have voicemails and I don't get back to those as quickly as I do email. So please feel free to email me. I want you to ask questions and stop by my office so I can get to know you. So this is a great learning experience and an introduction to the field of management. I'm going to put a, a video out online that's going to help you understand the process of getting into the online course. So you may see on the syllabus that you have two options for a textbook. And that is correct. You have the option to go to the bookstore and purchase the book. And that is a loose leaf book that is bound with a code. And that code will give you access to the online homework site. If you want to do a different option, you can go ahead and just purchase a code through Blackboard that takes you into the Cengage website and that with that code and purchase, you will have access to an ebook that is very interactive and allows you to do a lot of highlighting and um, learning processes that you would have access to with a hardbound book as well. So don't buy your book from a third party because you will have access to an ebook through your code. You will also have a code with your hardbound book at the bookstore, and then actually you'll have an ebook as well because once that code contains access to the homework and the ebook. So I'll walk through that later on in my next video, but I just wanted to introduce you to that today and get you familiar with that. You will go through homework each week, and the expectation is that you'll do a self-assessment. And the self-assessment really helps you understand kind of where you are as a person with um, concepts that are going to be presented in the course or that chapter specifically. You'll then go to a post-quiz. The self-assessment and the post-quiz will not go to the gradebook. Those are strictly for practice. Then you will read chapter, the chapter that's assigned, and then you'll do an APLIA homework assignment. And that is really um, different approaches to helping you understand the material. So you may have a few questions that are just definitions. Then you may have a, qu a few questions that are more graphical and understanding uh, models. And then you may have some application questions or a case. And so those are really good questions and really good processes for you to learn the material as you're doing this independently. The homework, the APLIA assignment, is multiple attempt, and it is set to take your highest and best grade for that to post to Blackboard. So please utilize that feature and really take advantage of the multiple attempts and the highest grade. You'll then go into a post quiz, and by this point, it's assumed that you understand the chapter and the concepts. The post quiz is a one and done. You will take it, and it posts, and it's over. I've set the deadlines for Tuesday nights, and that's because I'm here a lot on Monday, and I have office hours on Tuesdays, and I have a virtual office hour on Tuesday night. So I thought a Tuesday night deadline would be really good for this group, and also because MindTap is very, very slow on the weekends because that's when the majority of students across the world are accessing it and doing their homework. So that kind of walks you through the day-to-day -day operations and the understanding the chapter. There will be some other assignments outside of that that will be more application-based, and I'll go through those as they um, appear at, in the syllabus and um, come due for deadlines. But I wanted to introduce myself and um, welcome you to the course, and please Feel free to contact me with any questions you have. Um, call me during my office hours, and I'll get back to you later on how the online office hours will work, but I think they'll be structured in a way that will be really good for you. I'm going to try the free conference style first. It's a website that we can use. If that doesn't work really well, um, I'll be exploring other options because I want the online virtual office hours to be very user-friendly and welcoming to you Tuesday nights from 9 to 11 if you need help at that time. So welcome to the course, and I look forward to working with you over the next 16 weeks.